What do you think about the stuff that we got from Netflix last night and now the breaking news this morning that now Alphabet, the parent company of Google, will cut 12,000 jobs? What exactly is the outlook for tech? Good morning, Dom. Well, as we know, tech was absolutely hammered last year, right? And, and I think that this is the year that things start to turn around. So Netflix earnings were really excellent, right? It's, it's something that the market took to very favorably. You saw those increased subscribers, and it tells us that the company has some profit and revenue potential in the future in terms of how they're going to turn their business around. And I suspect that that's going to bleed into other technology companies. So, for example, Google cutting jobs. Well, cutting 6% of their workforce actually saves a lot of money for Google. Google. So as much as it's not you know, favorable for the people who have essentially lost their jobs, it is potentially something that could be positive looking forward to, to Google's corporate earnings and, and their bottom line. So to answer your question, though, I don't think tech is going anywhere. And I love tech at these prices. I love these multiples. I love that some of these names like Apple, Amazon, Microsoft, um, IBM are, are, well, not so much IBM because they've been performing, but the, the few aforementioned are 20 to 40 percent off of their highs. I think that all of them are part of the fourth industrial revolution you know, artificial intelligence, 5G, quantum computing. We need tech to essentially move forward. And I like it at these prices where it's been beaten down. There's no doubt we need technology. But Sylvia, over the last several months and quarters, it hasn't been a focus so much tilted towards fundamentals or outlook for these companies. We know we need them. It has been about their valuations giving a rising interest rate and rising inflationary environment. Those higher rates have taken a huge bite out of valuations. So how can you make that call if you don't look at the Fed and rates as well, what do you think there? Well, I think, you know, there's sort of two ways to look at that. Number one, the Fed is closer to being finished than they are to sort of starting. And at some point when that, you know, becomes overheated, there's a chance that the Fed pulls back on it. But number two, these companies are are actually well positioned. You know, they have strong balance sheets. They have good profit margins. They have innovation. They have, you know, forward looking technologies that will be coming into the market. So I think a lot of it is honestly psychological right now. I think that, you know, higher rates and in inflation definitely impacted tech's bottom line. But where valuations are now, where they've cut costs, where they've created new efficiencies, you know, how we need to sort of replace. Uh, workers, how we need to digitalize factories to replace some of the labor market issues. These technologies companies are going to play a big part, and you will start seeing them generate profits again. Okay. And in 10 seconds, your favorite sector for 2023. Uh, I like hydrogen stocks. I think it's the energy of the future. 12% of our electricity will come from it, and it's um, becoming more cost efficient and being used globally as a fuel source for energy.